101010 is the way. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Ah, uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Xianzhou is difficult to define. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sienjo's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron Spears may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. One zero one zero one zero is the way. I still have important tasks from the general to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you... divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward! What's the delay? If you're worried about the road ahead, I've already told you. The hexagram indicates an auspicious result. Don't believe me? <laughs> Fine. Fate is fickle. Better to believe in yourself than look to the sky. Look at all the people gathered here. <sighs> Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Stars gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. I think they call that complaining from the heart. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. 
Let's ask around first. Locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sanjo as the Divination Commission. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet, thousands of light years away. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes? <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the general invited you? Is that a joke? The Lawfu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Xu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Is research data more important than life? I just heard him shout, It's gone! We lost the furnace! By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway... You said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. <sighs> In that case, uh, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him... 
Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. Will of Preservation! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Upon commission grounds your feet do tread. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead! Stay away! If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Hold on! Let us explain! We're not... What excuses do you have? Surprise me! Just passing by... Stumbled in! Door wide open! Within commission grounds today was so... An evil spun by hands unseen, unknown! No longer! Golden Cloud Toad! Illumination Dragonfish! <laughs> Are you all right? Wake up! I raised you like my own flesh and blood! <gasps> Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation! You didn't want to listen to us! We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason! Uh, how do you know my name, child? Does the reputation of Gong Shu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? <sighs> this guy's pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gong Shu. R really? The General sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession. The Creation Furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away, knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment aid my plight. <laughs> come, come on, <laughs> through here.
Look, this is one of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes. The Shifting Screen. <laughs> Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The Shifting Screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Indeed, with limited range and energy costs aside, to every star skiff soon shall woe be tied. You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither. But through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting screen entangled thence and coiled. How observant. You would make an excellent student. The Commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Ah! Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong, your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Luminflux Pixis. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? Yeah. <laughs> Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the Tree Demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! Good. 
The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it! You're much better than my useless students! What's happening? Is the delve collapsing? Seems like it worked! That tree demon must be writhing in pain! <laughs> All right, there's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back! Arbor's roots. Ah, they've encoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace! Help me, dear young friends! Let's hack them away together! We can't let the roots punch through the furnace! Careful, it's changing. Matched opponent. Lance a blaze. Lance! Forward! Conflict is pitiless. That's better. Nice team. Let's play for a while. Feeling spiffy? It's guarding the Ambrosial Arbor's roots and the furnace. Let's play. Can you find the answer? Follow my charge. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! <laughs> Done. Show no mercy. Thousand thanks. <laughs> Lance at the ready. There's no time to lose. <laughs> no matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. <sighs> no wonder the Sienjo is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. 
this, Ting Yun? Are the long-life species on the Xianzhou all like this? I'm afraid this ebon deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Xianzhou don't have abilities like this. Huh? <sighs> as long as it's there, we can't get any closer. I wonder... The Ebon Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Uh, yeah! It can't heal if we take out the source, right? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the Arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. So the General asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission, hmm? Huh? Ah, the Artisanship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the Tree Demon appeared. Will of Preservation! Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Young friends, I have a suggestion. Any thoughts, Master Gongshu? Hmm. When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Oh, great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet that which clasheth needeth hands to make. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting screen with fire? Well, you're right. Those roots never grew back. Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground!
speed? My theory was correct! Keep going! Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Looks good. Galaxy is vast beyond compare. Interesting. <laughs> Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. The galaxy is vast beyond compare. <laughs> Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Moment. I'll set up the device.
I suspect the Ambrosial Arbor's root system must have spread far underground. The only thing we can say with confidence is that we removed the majority of those within the bounds of the Artisanship Commission. Let's hurry, before they have a chance to grow back. So, the next step is... Please never do that again. Battles are chess. Two are alike. The roots coiled around the creation furnace! They've withered! Excellent! Nothing can stop you now! Well, we're in trouble now! You've almost begun! Leave it to me. Stand down. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty child. Next time. Lance at the ready. Lance 
Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! A thousand wonder! <laughs> Fight is gone! You know nothing of the way survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Not nothing else. Better late than never. Let's begin. Welcome, customers. <laughs> Nap time. I am kind of hungry. March. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just saying, it'll be a shame if they get smashed to pieces. You know nothing of the weight. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Hit! Blaze. Lance! Forward! Leave it to me. Nap time. I'm on guard. Not a scratch. Naughty child. <laughs> Better late than never. Let's stand down. Lands at the ready. Time Let's retreat. A thousand wonder. <laughs> Fight is one. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. <laughs> you know nothing of survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Nice teamwork. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! <laughs> Fight is fun! You know nothing of the way survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice.
General Jingyuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Xianzhou decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. If immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe, entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Xianzhou wander the universe, never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the Plague Author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried while the fools remain immortal. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the Abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Go, friends, and stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey.
here was intense. The Master Diviner must have launched the campaign while we were delayed in the Artisanship Commission. Time is of the essence. The most important task for the Xianzhou Law Fu is suppressing the Stellaron. General Jing Yuan tasked the Master Diviner with commanding the Cloud Knights. He would have known she'd act on the results of her divination. Thank goodness the General didn't make us go with the Knights. Fighting is totally different from adventuring. All these people... It's tough to bear. I'm afraid this is nothing, Benefactor. Centuries ago, an Emanator of Abundance besieged the Lafu with the aim of taking the Ambrosial Arbor. They destroyed half our Delves and killed most of the Cloud Knights. For long-life species, such events are more like yesterday's memories than ancient history. This awful spectacle is child's play in comparison. Hey, is that supposed to make us feel better? It's hard to tell if the Master Diviner won or lost here. Uh, hey, whose side are you on? I can't see many Cloud Knights. The Sienjo must have fought well. Not necessarily. There'd usually be a base with supporting forces set up after a successful engagement, but we don't see any of that. Let's look around and see if we can find some clues. Be careful. Those monsters are pretty tough. <laughs> 